are going to make a vegetable curried frittata wrap. Mm, so good. this is for something that you can have for lunch yeah. and you could use it over a couple of days so you can use half of it for lunch now and have a little bit later if you pick it. Sure. It's full of goodness, lots of vegetables, protein and it's really quick and easy to make which is one of the um, main, which is your main priority. Yeah, brilliant, let's see. So, I'm going to start off by chopping some vegetables. Now I've got your non-stick frying pan, apparently you don't need me oh, no, for that. No, really Are you sure? Yes. You 100%? Yes. I don't cook. <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> yes, do you mean to do anything? Right, okay, you're going to beat those eggs, so put them all into the bowl. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put some red peppers in. Yeah. And I'm also going to do some, um, some courgettes as well. Super. Now Rev, the reason you want quick, easy cooking is because you just had a little baby. I have, my olive oil. Although you can't cook, well, you are learning to cook with me. Of course I can cook. You're, def you're definitely stylish. Yeah. <laughs> how, because you're a stylist. Yeah. So how do you go about doing that once you've um, just had a baby? How do you kind of find the time? You don't, basically. You right. don't find any time. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't. There you go. No, you don't find You just have to make time. It's like anything. You have to find time to make yourself look good. But there are key, you know, staple, like you have staple food. Yeah, what are the staple kind of items of clothing items that, be, that you would suggest for a new mum to have in their wardrobe? Right, so for me, uh, let's say, let's give you five. Yeah. I definitely have, um, let's put this away. Um, I'm going to pour some milk in there as well, yeah. actually. I'd go for a leather jacket. Yeah. Okay. Something that you can wear with every outfit and you can dress it up in the evening, wear any jacket. If you're cold, just sling it on. But obviously, because you put on weight, on oh, most people do around here, yeah. make sure your jacket doesn't end here. Make it sure it's like higher crop top. So my jacket's end yeah. here, so the illusion is okay. I'm skinny there, because the focal point ends there. If I had to wear it in my waistline where I put on weight, yeah. then I'll look bigger than what I already am. I look fatter. So to so, so wear a little crop top? Yeah, I'd wear a smaller one, not but, something that ends on your waist. But that's then something put on. underneath it, of course, yeah. No, I'm just naked with a bra. <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, Knowing you, Rav, you probably <laughs> would. So I would say five staple items. A good pair of shoes. Yeah. Um, what shoes would you go for? But like, and we're talking about, I mean, let's be realistic. If you just had a baby, mm. you're probably going to be doing things like going to the shops and stuff like that. We're yeah. not going to be wearing slappers. What kind of shoes are you going to go well, for? Well, I live in my Nike Pegasus. Um, Your Nike Not what? that I should be saying any names. The Nike Pegasus, just some Nike trainers. Mm. I mean, I've got a bright yellow pair, a grey pair. Yeah. They're really handy. Oh, I love funky trainers. Yeah, but that just makes you out of it. You can have black as a canvas on your, on your you know, trousers and your top, and then just wear a pair of trainers. Yeah. Um, but then, obviously, I do have a pair just slightly in the you evening. Drop that. <laughs> you don't need it anymore anyway. You don't so, need that. Yeah. So trainers and a pair of heels. Obviously it's hard pushing buggy. Cobble streets in Windsor, I don't yeah. wear heels. But if I do go to have a quick drink with Jason, you know, in the evening, five o'clock ish afternoon, I put my heels on. So And then it's so how so you can go from like one outfit same in the outfit, daytime and then dress it up. Yeah. And obviously so you've got your black any leather jacket, I wear an orange one. Mm. Some shoes, trainers, and some heels. Yeah. I definitely accessorise, okay? And something like what you've got on now, your drink, just to make yourself feel better. Yeah. And you know, they're focal points. People look at your jewellery, not the fact where you've gained it. Yeah. So accessorise. Accessorise. Top. Rule four, I would say makeup, splash them on. Mascara, blusher, goes a long way. And grooming, your hair. Make sure, I mean, look, we've got it up now because we're cooking. But you know, take time to wash your hair. I know it, you know, you're not going to be able to curl it or you're not going to be able to straighten it. Yeah. But just washing it, putting it up, makes a big difference. Do you know what I love actually at the moment, and that's one of my top tips, is yeah. to, um, yeah, I think that is a little bit hot as an Are you mm -hmm. sure you don't need oil in this pan? That's yeah. <laughs> more than you if you're going to rain anyway. I love the dry shampoo, I think it's fantastic. Yeah. If you've not got time to wash your hair in the morning, it's just a little bit of that in, in the morning. It just saves you so much time, doesn't it? Where did you put that toast? Oh, I put it. <laughs> what are we doing now then? Let me just tell you, let me just concentrate on the food. I'm going to put some um, curry powder in here. Yeah. So just make an appetizer a little bit different. This is korma uh, curry powder, but you can use just mild curry powder or if you fancy something a little bit spicier, you can use a stronger one. And that's it, I'm just going to mix it in. Yeah. And then, oh, the smell of this is lovely, nice, isn't it? Yeah. Add your egg mixture then now, so the pan. So it's just egg with milk in this, yeah. Yeah. So you just mix that all in. All of it? Yeah. Just. There you go. Whack it in there, and then I'm going to just allow that just to settle a little bit, and also add some cheese. Now, you would think don't have cheese if you're trying to lose weight. Yeah. But 
Do you know what? A little bit is not going to gain loads and loads of pounds. You've got to make food that is flavoursome. That's what's kind of for him. Oh, well, for colours. You see? And how easy is this? I like that. That was so easy. So is it like an omelette then, what you're making? It's a frittata, yeah, it's pretty much like an omelette. You can put anything in there. I mean, I've used these vegetables. You can use whatever you want. Yeah. You can use sweet potato, little cubes of sweet potato, uh, butternut squash. Yeah. Whatever you fancy, you can put a little bit of tuna in. It looks lovely. I want to try it. Come on, come here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 actually, you're just starving, aren't you? I am so hungry. So I'm going to let this cook on here a little bit. Yeah. Just so it cooks underneath. And then I'm going to put it under the grill to finish oh, up. I see. So you don't flip it over. That's why... No, that would be more like a pancake. Uh, no, no, I'm lit. I'll oh, yeah, oh, yeah, all right, but a thinner on This is okay. a frittata, so it's thicker. Brilliant. Yeah, which is why I'm using this um, thicker base pan here. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. Should we be in the oven then? See about those. Back in two minutes. <laughs>